Now that we have seen how to connect Pro Tools to the Dolby Atmos renderer and also map our buses to their respective output and object, let's go ahead and see how we can create object tracks in Pro Tools. Before you start, make sure you have the Objects view visible in the Edit window or the Mix window. You can enable it by selecting Objects in the drop-down menu. This will help you to easily assign an object output on a track. Let's start by making an audio track that will have our audio clips for the mix. Clicking on the Object Output button on the track will show you the various object outputs that are available. The ones in yellow are used, and the ones in white are available. Choose the appropriate one for your track. Clicking on the Bus Object button in the Object section will toggle the output between the bus and the object. Pro Tools pan information will seamlessly switch between the bed or an object output, keeping the automation intact. This toggle can be automated. Now, let's look at this in a session and see how we can organize and manage objects and beds. Although our current session consists only of FX and music, you could also have a dialogue output in bed, depending upon the type of work you are doing. Once we assign each track to the respective object output, we can also, if needed, make exclusive tracks for objects. The next step is organizing. There are three main steps in this. 1. Creating VCA masters. 2. Creating object masters. 3. Grouping tracks into folders. For a mix where you would need to control tracks that are sent to different outputs, a good idea is to create VCA masters. Let's create a VCA for music and effects. Group all of the music tracks and the reverb aux into a mix group and assign it to a music VCA. For the effects, since we have three divisions of effects, let's create a VCA master for each one and then assign those masters to the FX VCA master. When creating auxes for reverbs or delays, etc., those are considered the same way you would treat an audio track. You can assign them to a bed or an object if you need to toggle between them. Only mono and stereo auxes can be sent to objects. In conventional stereo or surround mixing, it is common to have some kind of processing on your bus, like a limiter, EQ, or compressor. When we have tracks that are assigned to a bed and objects that need to be toggled, a good way to have the same bus processing for the objects is to create master tracks for the object tracks and insert the same plugins with the same presets in this as well. This way, when you toggle the output between a bed and an object on a track, it receives the same processing. Now let's organize the tracks. For our session here, we make one folder track for the music, one folder track for the individual effects groups along with the respective object masters, and a basic folder track to group all of the effects folders into one. This way, we end up with a very clean and organized session. We now have a session ready to mix for Dolby Atmos.